here today to discuss some things. Amen, church? Amen. And we also have babies to be dedicated. Amen? The pastors get ready for that one. Hallelujah. I feel that John the Baptist move. Take off my head and put it on a plant. Now I say, Lord Jesus. I will die at my post. And I ain't gonna preach you again and left out myself. I have to make it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Second Timothy chapter 2. Reading from verse 1. Reading from verse 1 says to verse. Says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. You notice Christ Jesus before Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Before he was risen was Jesus Christ. But after death, buried, and resurrected, he became the Christ. Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to be to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man, verse 4, no man that worried entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Thank you, Jesus. No man that wore it entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who chosen him to be a soldier. Soldier, not the time to waste. If you're a soldier today, you have no time to waste. You don't allow the enemy to, 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 to make you feel idle. I give you idle words. No time to waste. Every day you must be doing something for God as a soldier. Okay, I mean sound a bit strong, but I'm going to the Holy Spirit. Amen, church. I bring this message before, but God said, tell the people again. Endure hardship. A good soldier endure hardship. And when you look at endure, this is to undergo pressure and still be firm, not to yield to the pain, the sorrow, the failure, whatever situation you face in. You are to be firm, strong, focused, and waiting in God. The enemy know that we don't have tolerance. And we don't endure for too long. Praise the name of the Lord. But God is saying this morning, as Paul said that, I am talking and I'm speaking among many witnesses, the men before me, they endure and you ought to endure that you can help others too. Hallelujah to Jesus. The men before Paul, they endure. And he said to us in this New Testament, he said, you are to endure like them also, that you can help others. If you don't endure, are you going to help somebody? Hallelujah. You want to go through some pressure. You want to go through some heavy stuff. But at the end of the day, the Lord said, I am with thee. And when you say hardness or hardship, this is hard suffering. God to be glorified. So when I talk about the physical suffering, you don't have no food and all of these things. God said, your flesh want to suffer. Because you will have to reprimand your flesh and deny the things that the flesh loves the most before you start to serve Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You never love me 
tell you what I'm going to preach in the name of the Lord. We God said you are to endure your hardness and your hardship. He said, I told you, signs of the time gonna be everywhere. All the time gonna come, tribulation going to come, distress is gonna come, but you have to endure. Fred 
no more afraid of you, afraid of you. And when you're in the world, you never used to afraid of that.
is that all the time you will put up with some things. So it will take you out of it to endure the feeling of it. So we are two friends. Example. And I ain't going to put up with your lifestyle. So I'm going to cut the relationship and endure the feeling of it. As me love you as a friend, but you're going to pull me into sin. So I endure the oddness of the emotional feeling of missing you as my friend. Put you in my heart as a sweat. I'm going to cut you out and just say, God, I love this person as my friend, but I give them to stay with you. I said, yeah, I do a hardness to naive spirit. God said, choose this day. Rule yourself and I will give you instruction. So you yeah, give me black and blue and I'm going like, to sit down with it every day. I'm going to step away from you. Suffer the hardness to me and lose it for Jesus Christ. Flesh of the dead. Sit with no more. Oh, God Almighty, black and blue high. I may teach a chap out of the mouth. Can I help you today? I ain't gonna sit down in no more abuse. I'm gonna step out and suffer and do all the hardness of it. But Jesus gonna tell me the truth. And you're gonna see me down the road two years and sorry I didn't come and make life with me. Serve it all together. Some persons don't understand that uh, when you walk away from them, they say, God, your life never better. But when you check it out, whose life will be better when they decide to serve God? Or you're better than me. You don't have salvation. And we get salvation and salvation. Anything. Talk to you want talk to. You can't touch with God bless. Sure. If your kid got moderation, he just fix your business. The truth. It's time to listen. Endure temptation. Moving on quickly. Hallelujah. So Jesus said in verse 3 of Matthew chapter 4, said, And when the tempter came to him, he, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Hear the words of ever bring to Jesus. If you really are served God for you and use a son, command the authority in you, command it. Makanjir Christ. Command that these stones be made bread. So when the tempter come in your wilderness, even said, but look how long you're serving God and you're a child of God. Just speak the things <laughs> and things will turn. <laughs> and imagine say, whom you're speaking people like, so why you can't speak in your whole life? You speak say, here going to grow, so how not here not growing on your head? You speak say, food going come into cupboard, so how are your cupboards are dry and pusty? And here Jesus said, Man shall not humbly, man shall not be my I must endure. Man shall not live by my bread and water. But by the word of God. So when you want to live by bread, I know you will have problems. Because when I want you want the word. Every new clothes come they want it. Every husband come they want it. Every money I spend they want it for the want. The bread of the world. Can I get rid of Every Easter come they want it. Me and I live by bread and the world. That's when you conform to the devil. Our devices and heal to his plan and his desire. 
Silas. Praise the name of the Lord. God said, if you want me, he said, declare to me, man with authority, man shall not live by physical brother. Yeah. Yeah. But by the word of God, it is life to my flesh. It restores my soul. It gives me fresh milk. I remember the days when grandma used to send us down and go and pass. You don't get the fresh milk coming from the cow. Hallelujah. Ah, fresh in the morning. Hallelujah. Fresh milk coming from the kingdom of God. I said, I am the mother that come down. I am the bread of life. If you eat me, drink me, and then you are going to run fresh. The scripture said, I beautify the make of salvation. Come on, you don't depend on physical man and food. Worldly bread. I'm going to teach worldly bread. You know? When the devil know that you're greedy and discontent, you're not satisfied with little. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, mm -hmm, I'm going to give you something so will you longer in sin because some of them slower are spiritually we are slower. We are naive. We are
moving on quickly. Endure hardness. Change your lifestyle to endure hardness. Commit to the change. In order for you to endure hardness, your mindset has to change. Because if you're having your, in your head, I mind in this I'm big life. I'm gonna bring you down. It's hard to come into it. You're used to your big food. Every day you're gone out. Flashy and dashy. I mean, I'm not sure about the body. Just explain it. Here, start of a change of the week. New clothes every week. I'm going to say, may I strip it down to one suit. If you don't change to that, mindset not change to that. You're rebellious. You're going to see you once a bloom in a church. Blue moon a church. You know? So we have to have a change of mindset to endure the earth. You're not going to say, God, we can't go through this. It's too hard. Verse 2 said, And the things that thou had heard of me among witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. All that have heard in the presence of Paul become witnesses. And he said, men before become faithful. Commit to be faithful. That when you get your testimonies and go to your hardness, you're going to tell somebody change and continue to be faithful to God. To endure your hardness, you have to be faithful. You have to be loyal. You have to have a heart of thanksgiving. You cannot be a murmurer. Well, you're not going to be a witness as Paul speaks about. Hallelujah. So when we commit to God and, and, and seek to be faithful, and then we're going to endure our hardness. Because God know that this flesh cannot go on the hardness. But he said, I'm going to go and I'm going to send you a comforter, which is your Holy Spirit. I'm going to live on your inside. That's going to strengthen you to walk faithful, talk with you, to overcome, and encourage our heart to stay in the will of God. Now some person is going to manage without the comfort. When we don't seek him, not at all. When we don't invite him in, not at all. Your flesh fear. Things gonna go away. Everything gonna crumble. Because when your hardness comes, you're gonna do it as a natural man. When a natural man cannot do it, it takes a God in you to deal with the issues that is before you. You remember the days when you have issues when you deal with the church? You deal with it very arrogant, very bossy, very impatient, and very demanding. And then you just talk your mind and you don't, you don't wait on nobody even to explain their side. Hello, we don't hear your side right now. May I tell you my part of it, Paul? true. But now when you come, God said, you are to be lonely. You want to sit down very low. Praise the name of the Lord. I listen, esteem another. I listen to somebody. And shut up your mouth sometimes you're not to get the chance to express yourself. That's true. Hallelujah, Jesus. And even when you want to push at times to explain the word, it was a shut up your mouth. Listen. Listen. We defend the flesh too often, and God said, 
Stop and listen. Commit to change. Come on, man. Come on for the high place. And let Jesus carry you through. And stop bringing high mindedness to somebody when God has cut you down. Hallelujah to Jesus. He said in three days, I'm going to pull down this house. And I'm going to build it again. You know, understand, say, God, I'm going to tear down some away. I'm beat all over again. I'm going to meet some people. If you succumb and submit to the tearing down, uh -huh. uh, you want to build so fast. Some person going to wonder, oh, you look so different. Oh, you talk so different. Then I understand, say, so you submit to God and the devil flee from you. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God your mind is to be transformed in order for you to endure the hardness your mind is to be transformed because when God speak to you whenever God speak to us then we can understand the scriptures are not your man can understand the things of God. You ever talk to somebody when you understand why you have to come to church every day? So why you have to throw up all the time? You ever encounter somebody ask you, so why you a church worship son? So why you praying us so much in our week? The actual man cannot understand. He to into God and be transformed. Then when you begin to speak, they understand what you're saying. Hallelujah to Jesus. I wonder the word is going somewhere today. Hallelujah. Some person says, I can't come to your church because they speak too much. You read the New Testament of Jesus Christ. When so many deliverance was taking place, some persons spit up. Some persons are lunatic. Some persons manifestation because when deliverance come, it's going to be a physical manifestation. Some persons are going to urine. Some persons are going to laugh. Some persons are going to dance. Some are going to run to the bathroom and pass their feces. Some are going to sweat. Some are going to cry. Come on, deliverance come in different ways. Because it's how the spirit enter your life, you're going to come back out. Suppose it enter through your foot. You have to go dance and you come in. Suppose it enter your body through dancing like a gypsy. You will have to dance to get it out. No church. The church is not teaching. So when we see the manifestation of God, we blaspheme. Hallelujah. So the natural man cannot understand how you become a fool like this. You're sitting down for all of this. I don't know you as this person. Because you've been transformed and your mindset is not different. So you don't defend yourself no more. You don't work work no more. You don't rebellious no more. You sit on a beer or with a mighty God. And how many you trying to be a still persecuting you? But you still have to control your heart. Jesus on type of it. They mock him and they jeer him. Hallelujah. They say he's white people. He's pensive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, that boy, that, that carpenter boy, when he's from the road, they try to be like him. Ah, oh, God Almighty, the scripture said, a prophet never get honor in our own country. The one people where you sit on and heat him, they will not. They will never say thank you or appreciation one day because they belittle you and they see yeah, how can you carry God when your lifestyle was that a religious devil. They can see you change, they will see you pass. Praise the name of the Lord. But when they rise upon you like Saul, Paul, you're gonna live the life of that day when they come and shame or come and glorify your God. and go back to your world. Live above it. 
Hallelujah. So you have to have a changed mind. That you, you will have to see things differently. You don't see through your wounds no more. You will not see through seduction no more. A seduction in your head gives you an image. And you always want to have that look like that image. And if you don't do that image, then you hear a voice of low self-esteem telling you that you don't look nice at all. And then you go back to the seductive voice and begin to walk on a seductive, just seductive all over again. And forgot that. And you forgot that you already been transformed. So we need to resist the voice of the devil. Jesus resists his voice. Rebuke him. And shall not live by the Lord. We are talking about. I know the God I serve. Now bow. Three evil boys. Fire turned to heart. And I'm going to end to it. Not going to bow to the music. Christmas music soon coming. Yeah. Finally, as we suffer hardness, we must suffer the hardness in the grace of God. And that's how we're going to be strong. Verse 1 says, Thou therefore, my son, Address us as sons and daughters. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. So if you and I are going to endure, we have to abide in this grace. Because it is in the grace of God our strength comes in. Grace is mercy and forgiveness. Hello, church. So if you want to endure out of grace, you're going to have a problem. You can endure with laws. Moses' law. You want to endure with faith and grace. Because that's where our strength comes from. Jesus Christ. Our oh, Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. So for me and you to endure our hardness, we have to abide in him and his word abide in us and we continue to stay at the feet of Jesus Christ. We won't run away, run off and put on some things and change our identity. We're going to stay with the identity of Jesus Christ because the identity of Jesus Christ is not outwardly. It is in war. But the enemy of religious spirit tells us that it must be out of war. But Jesus and him use that to support God. Hallelujah. Inside is all dead man born. Outside look clean, white and pretty. Praise the name of the Lord. So religious people, they look for the house and they say, hmm. The grace of God over your life. But when they open their mouth, it is a disgrace. The scripture says, it's not what a man can keep the fire, but it's what you let out. So if inside is dead man poor, what you gonna let out? Dead man poor. Filthiness. Leprosy. Sin and gossiping. Tear them. I'm going to let them. It's time for us to see to the eyes of Jesus. Let's stop looking outside the people. Discern their hearts. So the church, religious church, preach and teach how to warn me. And I remember the inside in a relationship with me. Jesus inside, but you. I make him take time dress up outside because what is the beauty of a man that is inside? 
have to lower your standard, but you have to be flexible. You will not go into the big pen, but you have to be flexible. You know? You know, church. In the help of woman and God, a man of God today, somebody watching us live today, you have to endure your hardness. Change your mindset. Oh, everybody have a problem with you. Oh, yes, you have a problem for true. So you have to choose. Talk of why. God said transform. You are said transform. To please. To please your neighbor. To please your child. To please your, your boss and your co-worker. Because you want to be recognized. If me lose your job, me lose it. Coordinator from 
the pit to the palace. From the prison to the pulpit. Some of you are afraid of the prison. Spiritual free spirit prison. Hallelujah to Jesus. So when we endure the testings and the, 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 the trials or the temptation of the devil, we are going to reward you. For me now, as we suffer hardness, we are to stay in the grace of God. Hallelujah. Because his grace is sufficient. to keep us. Just stay in the grace. Now mix the grace. Now water down the grace. Now sell out the grace. Now try to fit in the grace. You know? Now try to substitute. Give me the person and take the grace. You know? 100% grace. Now mix it. Now mingle. Now touch the handle. Now taste long with the grace. Uh, because it easily be contaminated. You ever see a piece of white? Hallelujah. You can put it against some clothes you run. Hallelujah. Some colored clothes. Because it's going to draw. Uh, I want to stay white. Me not going on dirty. Because it's going to drop on me. Hallelujah. Me not want to see it drop on me, grace. Hallelujah to Jesus. The Lord is saying to us today. As people of God, endure your hardness. I've told you that these things will come. It will not take you unaware. Eh? All what is happening, read in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and other verses. Revelation chapter 18, Revelation chapter 21. All of these verses. You will be persecuted, but endure. You will be rejected, but endure. You will be forsaken, but endure. You will be lied upon, but endure. Your husband will cheat on you, but endure. Your wife will be unfaithful, but endure. I help you to You love so much, just walk and just dead. But still endure. Jesus is with us. The comforter will never leave us comfortless. Trust in the Lord with all the night. And lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways. I remember the Lord said testify. I got a chance to travel 20 to 2011. And when I got there, off a school, then I run off. The devil said, You see, I suffer Jamaica. You're coming from a life of poverty. Your family need help. And you have the ability to make life and help them. And I remember I went to the Lord. Because the offer was divorce your husband, mind one next man up there, get your paper straight. Divorce so that you married back to your world husband. What a wicked day. So, the devil did not show me that when you divorce, you come from a covenant with your own husband and leave him out there where you think just they're not of him. He's not on a covenant. Covenant. God protects covenant. Marriage. Covenant God protects. 
I remember the night I lay on that little bed and I said, God, show me a way. Teach me the right steps right now. And you hear a voice say, Any door I got open, no man shut. And any door I shut, no man open. He said, Go home. And this door that I opened for you will continue hoping for you to come and go. I said, God, I will not allow greed. somebody today when God opened a door in your life remember your vow remember not to be greedy you will lose everything God will bring you down remember your vow remember where he's taking you from remember church remember. yes we are going through the hardship I'm waiting on the Lord. Problem, but may I wait? May I come in down today? Endure oneness. And as this word preach, it will come from the book. And as long as you receive it in your heart, you're going to carry it through the week. And let you see if you really love Jesus Christ and enduring the proposal of the devil. Offers gonna come. Invitation gonna come. Examine it. Doors gonna open. But listen to the voice of God. Amen, church. The Lord bless you today. I said to you as a Holy Spirit, say, endure your hardness. Under God the pressure, look a bit. God ever see you true. Build some muscle, look a bit. And you're about to testify. Set up for the fire, and years after the fire, brother, can't come home. Help me to come here, God. But when you decide to come out, God gonna help you to come out. I encourage you today, cinnamon backsliders. If you are here, let me pray for you. Come in and endure with Jesus Christ. Come let me pray for you. See the man in my service.